Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to get our robot moving and uh, to do this I have um, my robot sprite down here. Okay, I have costumes, I have two different costumes. If you can see on the right hand side on the editor, he uh, looks like he's walking. Okay, so now to make him walk with the arrow keys on my keyboard first of all I want to get him in position so I could put him anywhere around the stage and uh, if you have a look in the motion the blue bo blocks it says go to X and Y coordinates the X and Y coordinates um, are an invisible uh, grid on your stage you may have come across them in maths and you can see the coordinates down here uh, X and Y at the bottom of the stage. So um, wherever I move him, you can see the go to X and Y coordinates, uh, they move to wherever he is. So if I want him in this position, then I can pull them out of that position. Um, obviously if you move him, it's not going to move on here, you're going to have to pull a new one out. Okay, so you could do it that way or uh, to start the game I'm going to always start with when green flag is clicked so if I go back up to motion I can just drag one of them out and I can say okay let's start at zero and zero and see where he ends up okay he should end up in the middle so double click on that yep he's in the middle I don't really want him in the middle because I want him on the pavement down here so um, um, the X is okay uh, let's see if I can change the Y coordinate. So I'm going to go downwards. So it's minus, say, minus 60. Okay, see where he goes to there. Yeah, that's about right. So um, X is on zero in the middle, and Y is further down, minus 60. Okay. Right, so now I want to make him move. I'm going back up to events and I'm going to bring out the when space key is pressed and I'm going to change that to right arrow. I don't want him to go left and right at this point. So uh, let's go up to uh, here. I'm going to point him in a direction. I want, I've said right arrow so I need to move him right. So point in direction right and move 10 steps. Okay. Now I want him to change his costume when he's moving, so to do this I'm going up to the purple looks and uh, going to next costume, okay. So let's have a look when I press my right arrow, you can see it looks like he's moving now, okay. Now I want to do the same thing for the left arrow. Now an easy way around, I could drag all this, the bo blocks out, but an easy way around is just to hover your cursor over this top block. Okay, right click on your mouse and it gives you the option to duplicate. So I've duplicated that and all I have to do is change it to the left arrow. Make sure you point in direction left and now let's see what happens here. Yeah. Okay, I can use my left and right arrows. So now I've got my walking robot. Okay, and you can play around with that. You can make him go up and down if you want as well. Um, one thing to point out, if you come down under the stage, little eye there, okay, there is a rotation style. So if you are wanting to move in up and down, make sure it's in this middle one, going side to side, otherwise you'll end up with your robot being upside down. Okay, so um, now we want to change backdrops. I'm going underneath the stage. You can see here I've got a backdrop. If I go into the middle, you see backdrops is in the middle okay so I've got a white background and I've got this Metro one background so I can add more backgrounds to this I'm just gonna get a delete that one and open a new background so uh, which one could I have I'll have this one Oh, no, we'll, we'll keep him on the path okay so I'm gonna go for this one I'm gonna go down and click OK Okay, so now I've got two different backgrounds. So now I've got my backgrounds, I can switch the backdrop as well now. So I'm going to go uh, to my robots, okay, and uh, I really want to start him on the other backdrop. So I'm just going to go there, go back to my robot, okay, go to the scripts. So 
at the moment when the game starts the robot goes to this point but I always want the game to start on this backdrop so I do have to request this so I go to you see we've got the switch costume there there's also switch backdrop so I'm just gonna put switch backdrop and I'm gonna say Metro so every time the game starts it will start on that scene okay so um, I've done that now and uh, if I wanted to I could uh, I could allow some points in here and uh, when the robots collected so many points I could switch it to another level okay um, it could be that when I re reach a particular point on the pavement that I switch a background backdrop okay and we'll get on to that later on so uh, let's just bring another sprite into view so if I say let's have this uh, we'll have a button okay so a button okay all right I've got my little button here um, it's a little bit big so go to the top and you can shrink the button okay shrink it down and yeah just put it down to the right hand side okay so what I'm going to say to my um, robot in fact I'll, d I'll do the script on the the button so when green flag is clicked uh, what I want to say first of all I want to show the button okay I want to show the button and um, then I want to say we'll do an if if touching robot then go to looks switch back backdrop to brick wall and I want if I go back up to look sorry if I, I want the button to hide okay so now that would do it when when the green flag is clicked that would that would do it if the robot was touching it when the green flag was clicked okay but we want it to be continuous so I'm going to put a forever around that so it means it's going to run that code is going to run all the way through the game so let's see what happens so click a green flag and uh, the robots in the middle I'm going to make him walk towards the button and you can see as soon as it hits the button then the backdrop is changed and the buttons hidden okay so different ways you can use the backdrop but that is one way okay right so um, we do need to create an opposition now and uh, that is in tutorial 2 in the task 2 but for now if you uh, have a go at moving your robot seeing if you can change the costumes and the backdrop okay have a go see how you get on <laughs> 